Hey guys, I removed the front panel uh, to avoid any scratches and removed the bottom panel to get access to the audio board. So next step, uh, here you see how the ground is connected. Uh, quite interesting. So next step I will be doing, um, I have read schematic and discussed it with the owner in the past. So this is pretty weird schematic. I never seen so many NGM amplifiers installed. And the difference, uh, this NGM amplifiers has a uh, GFET transistors uh, on input uh, cascade or stage. Um, and uh, all of them as a result have a very high resistance and old schematic is like limited to one microfarad uh, on the sound pass, which is way different from all other decks I have seen. So what we agreed, um, we agreed to recap this one microfarad capacitors with um, Nichicon Muse series, U UES. And there is like two capacitors, uh, which are uh, 10 microfarad. So let me show you technically what's, what's going on. So that's a playback head. And here you see the first NGM amplifier. Even if it has a GFET transistor uh, just directly from the head, then it has one microfarad. And it has uh, NGM amplifier, which has GFET transistor on input. And as a result, uh, they had to put uh, 4.7 mega ohm on the positive. Oh, it's actually it's negative feedback loop. I don't understand. So this will result in a huge amplification. <laughs> and here is our frequency response circuitry so as you may see this uh, r142 which is 280 kilo ohm is defined the amplification level and uh, additionally this capacitor uh, 0 0.01 microfarad plus this resistor 12 kilo ohm will define um, correction curve for the high frequencies. So it will define the uh, value of this capacitor, define where it starts correcting, and this resistor define how quickly curve will be growing. All right, so next uh, we get to the bias filter, we get to the uh, playback level, then we get into another one microfarad and another NGM amplifier. And this one microfarad is loaded by 100 kilo ohm. So that's the first stage. Uh, and this probably I am missing because here we still have one kilo ohm. So probably I may see if I can improve the sound by wearing this capacitor. It will be the next stage if like pure replacement would not help much. So probably we can put 2.2 microfarad or 3.3 .3 microfarad and see how it will play. Uh, because I can, when we already amplify it, signal will be of a high level. And this like uh, CR uh, acts as a filter and it's a, uh, will filter low frequencies. So the bigger this capacitor is, the lower uh, frequencies uh, levels will be here, right? So it will define the curve when DAC will cut off low frequencies. So we may play with this capacitor. Also next, uh, this one is a correcting amplifier and it's on the Dolby board. And then it gets into a couple of circuits. It's, I believe, for chrome metal, 70 microsecond correction. Then it gets into the first stage of amplification in the Dolby 
system gets back again. I never seen this, like, so they installed another amplifier here with corrective circuit and another NGM, and then it uh, gets here going up, second stage of amplification going out and going right here to this connector, tape left, tape right. And here we may see uh, two transistors, SK246, which switch in between source and tape. So the top you see is source, and it's still one microfarad for some sake reason, and another one microfarad after loaded by 220 kilo. Uh, usually, everywhere I've seen it was 10 microfarad. So the only reason I may, may guess like, uh, that they are considering this uh, amplifier with extremely high input resistance. Uh, going on, so, and here is a tape. So one transistor or another should be open, another should be closed, so we will get signal just from the one source. Here, source, so here is a tape. And then it gets amplified by this amplifier, again, correcting frequency response here with this coil. And then it gets into this stage. This one is a amplifier for the uh, levels for indicator. And that's where we go into the output volume control. And it just gets directly into the output connectors here. So let's do this first stage. Uh, let's see. Uh, I will just replace with one microfarad at this moment. And if this would not help, so we have candidates. This C141 to be increased to get more bus out. And uh, I believe this guys here, 124, 123, and 126. And the same for the other channel. So I believe these guys will affect the low bus and frequency response for this deck significantly in the low area. Now, let's see how it will perform. See you uh, when I replace capacitors. Hello, guys. And uh, here, uh, while I'm working, I found that someone already was trying to improve the sound. So this uh, polypropylene capacitors has been installed in place of uh, electrolytic. So you may see those like one microfarad exactly and ESR 0 0.19 ohm they look okay but let's go with uh, like verified way so I trust my <laughs> muse capacitors which I'm installing so let's see if it will perform better uh, technically so that's what someone was already trying like to fix it before I and there is two more. Okay, let me continue my my way and let's let's listen together what we can improve or not. See you. Well guys, I just completed recapping. So I found two capacitors here, these two were 10 microfarad. Okay, this four by one microfarad. Uh, and here like this two one microfarad, this two, 22 microfarad, okay? Here, two guys, two new one. Uh, one microfarad, here, one microfarad. And here are six guys, one microfarad. Uh, I believe that's it. I didn't miss anything. So at least I hope for that. Uh, to, uh, I mean, like I didn't miss when I recapped. I didn't miss like demonstrating you which ones needs to be replaced. Okay. So now let's close the boards and let's see how it will perform now. See you soon. And uh, here is the replaced capacitors.
Hey guys, so in here I'm testing results of recapping. I may say immediately that levels are normalized. So you may see it's plus six decibel and it was jumping to plus 10 before on this tape. And bus, it gets back there, really. Uh, I will service tape transport. I will replace the battery and then assemble and let's listen on the speakers together and evaluate the results. Now it sounds much better than it was before. Sound is more natural. It's still very clean and I tested like frequency response, like tape and it's, it just works perfectly. So I believe that is a good fix for this deck. Uh, considering this deck in the perfect condition. Also, what I mentioned, it's uh, this CR7 decks, they have idler tire, I believe. I need to disassemble, but from what I've seen, I'm not sure from what year they started installing the uh, Jers versus idler. Uh, but what I mentioned, uh, the speed, how it rotates, it's much quicker than the, on the decks with the um, gears. And I like how it's, it rotates and you see it rotates to the end very quickly and strong. You see, it, it's it's even like pulls the tape up a little bit. So strong. I, it's not the case with the gears. It's, it's rewinds slowly. Like even BX300 to DR2 I have, they, they don't work the same way. Okay, so good news, finally it plays and it's a good bus. I may fast forward, there are a couple more songs uh, which has extra low bus. So let me test it and I will let you know. So good news, see you. And here guys, I just replaced the battery and installed the replacement uh, bed and this battery is now can be replaced easily versus the one which was soldered here uh, owner told that uh, this deck was not serviced for 20 years so this battery is definitely bad um, but i don't have idea what it should be remembering i tried calibration i tried the different counter position maybe counter mode Yeah, I'm not sure what it should remember. If you do, let me know. Okay, so power off, power on, and everything will be clear. You see, counter mode clear, calibration will be cleared. To be now, um, I'm not sure what it remember. Maybe it's just don't remember anything anymore. Uh, not sure probably this microchip should be doing that. I check it the voltage on the board is proper. So I'm not sure what's wrong. Why? Right. Let me know in comments. What do you think it should be remembering? See you.